Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. South Korea unveiled the CTM-290 ballistic missile destined for Poland. This announcement occurred during a launch demonstration featuring the Homarque launcher, with Polish officials in attendance. The CTM-290, akin to the American Adams ballistic missile, aims to bolster the Polish military's firepower when combined with other munitions like the 239mm rocket. This event highlights the advancement of Korean-Polish artillery solutions, including the KRAB-23SPH. Moreover, South Korea's URE missile gains recognition for its capability to neutralize North Korean artillery positions. Korea's defense exports have surged by 140 percent, with Poland playing a pivotal role in this upswing. The Homarque, a customized Polish multiple-launch missile system, integrates the K-239 launcher mounted on a domestically produced Jelks P883.578 by 8 truck chassis. It features Poland's Topaz fire control system and accommodates the South Korean 239mm CGR-080 guided missile alongside the CTM-290 tactical ballistic missile, boasting a range of 290 km. The introduction of the CTM-290 benefits Poland and attracts interest from Middle Eastern nations like the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia, which currently employ the K-239 system and contemplate incorporating the CTM-290 into their arsenal. The CTM-290 missile serves as an export version of the upgraded URI-KTSSM Block I missile. Positioned between the existing URI-KTSSM Block I and the forthcoming URI-KTSSM Block II, the CTM-290 shares a similar configuration and shape with enhanced performance. It can be launched from a modified Chunmu launcher, with a range extended to approximately 290 to 295 kilometers, adhering to the Missile Technology Control Regime MTCR, guidelines. Featuring penetrating and thermobaric warheads akin to the URI-KTSSM Block I, the CTM-290 differs from the URI-KTSSM Block II, slated to carry a high-explosive, heat, warhead. The URI-KTSSM Block I, a single-stage, 600mm surface-to-surface tactical ballistic missile with a range limited to 180 km, was primarily designed to target North Korean bunkers and fortifications. Additionally, the ongoing development of the ur 2 ktssm Block II represents another ballistic missile type for the Republic of Korea Armed Forces, distinct from the export-oriented CTM-290 for the K-239L Chunmu system. Approved by South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, on September 18, 2023, this project is scheduled until December 2027, featuring an HE warhead with a range exceeding 300 km for direct enemy site targeting. On August 27, 2022, Polish Defense Minister Mariusz Blazak disclosed negotiations for procuring the South Korean missile artillery system. Successfully concluded on October 13, 2022, the agreement encompassed 288 MLRS Chunmu systems equipped with Poland's Topaz system and 23,000 missiles, ranging from 80 to 290 kilometers. This acquisition followed Poland's adjusted procurement strategy, initially including 500 M142 HIMARS launchers from the United States but revised due to delays. It resulted in a split purchase incorporating South Korean Chunmu launchers, with anticipated delivery in 2023. The inaugural deployment of the 1st Homarque unit to the 18th Mechanized Division of the Polish Ground Forces occurred on August 20, 2023, post its final testing in South Korea. The collaboration on military equipment between South Korea and Poland continues to evolve, with future joint projects eagerly anticipated. That's all for now, see you later.